you probably want to do more than just get a picture of a cube. So let's figure out how to add objects. We can either minimize or close the render window. If we close it, we can always get it to come back up by hitting the render button. As we see, there's two open windows here. This is the window that we're looking at right now. And this has to stay open at all times. If I were to X out on this window, Blender would close without saving. And it's an easy mistake to make. So you always need that minimized. So again, here's the default square. What we're going to do is delete it. If we right click on an object, we can select that object. And over here it'll say the object that we've selected. So a lamp, a cube, and a camera. If we select it and then hit delete, it'll ask us, do you want to erase the selected object? And we do, so we'll click on that. Now if we hit render, we'll see a blank screen. And if we hit zero, we'll see that there's nothing in our camera, which is good. We now have a blank slate. Hit seven again to see the top down menu. And now we're going to add an object. This button right here that looks like the uh, target is your cursor. And wherever that cursor is, is where the object will be added. We're going to put our cursor right at the intersection of the X and Y axis. And then we're going to hit spacebar. Spacebar brings up a bunch of different menus. The one we're looking at now is the add menu. We can also add a bunch of different objects. For example, we could add a camera, a lamp, in this case, we're going to add a mesh object. And then we can add a bunch of different shapes. A plane is a two-dimensional flat object. A cube is what we just saw. A circle is a two-dimensional flat circle. A sphere looks like a ball. A cylinder looks like a soda can. And a cone looks like a dunce hat. You can also add a monkey, which is kind of strange. We'll get to that later. For now, let's add a sphere. So again, we're going to click on spacebar, add, mesh, UV sphere. It asks what kind of segment, rings, and radius we want. We can come back to that later. For now, just hit OK. We now see a circle, which because we're looking at the top down, looks two-dimensional. But if we move two, or four and six, or zero to see the camera, we see that we've actually got a sphere. And if we render that sphere, we'll see an object that looks like a ball. We're going to close the render window and look at how we can edit that, that ball. When an object is selected, it's in object mode which means that it treats the entire object as one thing. G, when that object is selected, lets me grab that object and then my cursor moves it. Notice I'm on the, the zero window, which means I'm looking through the camera. If I were to put it up here and then click and render it, we'll see that my sphere is up there in the corner of the camera window. G grabs it, and I can move it back to here. And then rendering it should show it at the center. One of the things that takes some getting used to is that Blender operates in three dimensions instead of just two. If I close the render window and push 7 to give me a top-down view, and then in this case, because I can't see my camera, I'm going to hit minus to zoom out and there's my camera. If I were to grab by hitting G and move it way over here and then render it, it'll look much smaller. Essentially what I've done is I've moved it farther back away from the camera. So even though the object is the same size, because it's at a farther distance, it looks smaller.